Bulavinaka and greetings from the University of the South Pacific, Suwa, Fiji. Climate change is a global existential issue that needs to be understood from both the international and local perspectives so that relevant and practical interventions are created and implemented. Although climate change is not a new phenomenon to indigenous Fijians, its complexities and exclusion from the national curriculum has made it difficult for indigenous Fijians to comprehend the risks of climate change and to use their Vanua wisdom or traditional ecological knowledge to mitigate or in worst case scenarios, adapt to the impacts of climate change. I would like to begin by positioning Oceania in the world map before we discuss further. Oceania is a collection of islands that are grouped and known as a continent. 12 of these countries, which are in black font, are owners or members of the University of the South Pacific, originally owned a university. The University of the South Pacific has campuses in these countries and has influence on their educational agenda through their higher education programs and research and regional programs like the Pacific Regional Education Framework or PACREF. Climate change is an added stressor to an already failing education system in Oceania. In the late 1990s, Oceanian academics through their research found that indigenous Pacific Island students were not doing well in school due to the implementation of undemocratic curriculum, curriculum that was taught in a foreign language and used pedagogies that were not culturally sensitive. Therefore, in 2001, the Rethinking Pacific Education Initiative for Pacific Peoples were established by Professor Konai Helithaman, a former UNESCO chair, Dr. Anna Tofilungaki, former Minister of Education in Tonga, Associate Professor Kabini Sanga from the Victoria University in New Zealand, Tricia Nelly, with funding from the New Zealand Aid. Now through the RPEIPP, recommendations were made for teacher training institutions to embed indigenous graduate attributes into teacher education courses in leadership training of young and emerging Pacific leaders and in communities that research take into account indigenous knowledge systems. Thus began the decolonizing of the curriculum and research paradigms and methods. This led to the creation of indigenous research frameworks like the Kakala Research Framework by Professor Konei Helithaman, the Nua Research Framework by Professor Unanambombombamba, Iluvatu Research Framework by Dr. Siri Manaisi Lisili, Nambuni Ovalau Research Framework by Langi, using indigenous research methods like Talanoa, Ve Talanoa, and Talk Story, the indigenous participants' values of respect, care, and reciprocity that consequently exhibit indigenous worldviews that enables researchers and teachers better understand the indigenous world and consequently provide relevant interventions and pedagogies to address their educational or socioeconomic and environment issues. With support and mentorship from our friends from the North, like Professor Michael Crossley and Professor Tristan McGowan, their agenda continues to have trickle-down effects to this generation of academics like me and our people. According to researches carried out in Oceania, indigenous people perceive climate change from their vanua or fenua, which means their land, sky, sea, and their relationship with each other and use their Vanu wisdom or traditional ecological knowledge to forecast and prepare themselves using relevant traditional strategies to reduce the impacts of the expected change, change in the environment or the weather. For instance, whether it be the Mbongiwalu or eight nights and days of rain that could cause flooding and landslide or the Nyilamba, cyclone, 
and Woloka storm surges. Indigenous people have a relational understanding with their Vanua. The Vanua is their source of knowledge, source of life, and ultimately their existence. Therefore, it is paramount that contextualized knowledge and approaches are implemented to address the climate crisis in Oceania. Recently, universities in Fiji, Brazil, Kenya, and the United Kingdom, through the United Kingdom Research and Innovation Fund, carried out participatory action research in their respective countries to address climate issues. In Fiji, the University of the South Pacific, Fiji National University, and the University of the South Pacific carried out a survey with 6,000 students to find out students' perception about the university's roles in climate education. According to the students, universities play a significant role in climate education, not only in schools and universities, but in communities as well. However, while universities conduct climate activities in the, in the communities, students feel that they need to be more involved in these activities for the continuity and sustainability of knowledge and practices. Apart from the survey, the three universities also carried out participatory action research on sites of their choice. It could be either at their own university or in a community. The three universities chose to work with communities. The participatory action research approach shares the indigenous Fijians' values of respect, care, and reciprocity that is reflected in Solo Solevaki, a practice where communities work together for the benefit of all, similar to the concept of social capital. Therefore, using this approach, the three universities, together with the communities, identified climate issues they were experiencing and used indigenous approaches woven with contemporary knowledge and practices to address issues like drying watersheds, food security, and loss of traditional medicinal knowledge and plants. In another research carried out in Tuvalu and communities in Fiji, it was found that climate change pre-traumatic stress is caused by the indigenous people's anxiety for the loss of their tangible and intangible heritage and culture. For instance, the loss of their vanua or fenua that could mean that they will have to relocate. In relocating, they fear the loss of their spiritual and physical connection to their vanua, their source of knowledge and existence, their source of mana that empowers them to be prosperous and resilient people. The unlearning and relearning of the indigenous Oceanians' epistemology and ontology through the use of indigenous research approaches and methods, Durui, enhanced with contemporary methods through collaborative work with the ESSRG, a beginning and continues to provide climate justice, creating marginal citizens who will be better prepared to use relevant approaches to build resilient and climate-proof communities. Finally, I would like to end with a poem by Konai Helu Thayman, titled The Way Ahead. The way ahead we cannot see, far into the distance, neither can we see what used to stand there. But today we can see trees separated by wind and water. And if we dare to lit Sorry, if we dare to look beneath the soil, we will find roots reaching out for each other and in their silent intertwining, create the hidden landscape of the future. Vinakawakalebu. <laughs>